So this game mode I'm playing here is a uh, team deathmatch type mode. You respawn in, you don't lose your guns when you die. Uh, it's a lot of fun, it's good warm-up practice. Because it's just non-stop combat. Throw down a fortress on top of a fort of fort The fort of fortress is really cool because um, it becomes a magnet. People just naturally want to land there because they know there's somebody sitting on top. And the whole thing about this game mode is everybody's always wanting to fight. I die there. I was playing solo, this was before anybody joined me. And like I said, it's a lot of fun to play this game mode because you just it's good warm up. In a normal battle royale, you don't get to fight too often and you die once and boom, you gotta reload. Whereas this you just get to grind out some fighting. Oh, somebody killed him right before I got there. Frustrating. Now I'm hurt too. Eighty-eight, so there's only twelve kills before we win. Boom. My skills have improved so much with aiming since we started playing this game mode, it's ridiculous. I also learned this new strategy, although apparently it's not new. Um, there we go, we won. But use the shotgun and then right next to it have a high fire rate weapon. So give them one pump with the shotgun and then immediately switch over to SM an SMG or a burst fire or something like that. It's uh, a lot of fun. And it's super effective. I mean, it's surprising how often it will just tear through somebody. And you'll see me using that a lot lately. I also learned something from that game mode, and it's that I'm apparently not very good at battling people from a distance. But when I'm up close, I have a really good shot at killing them. When it's... You know, sniper versus sniper, AR versus sniper, maybe I'll be able to do it, but a high ground has a huge um, impact, and my I'm just not that great at fine aiming, but the quick twitchy aiming is something I'm pretty good at. So I check, I see Jeremy's mid-game. It won't let me join him for some reason. And um, the... I did, Christian wasn't on yet, so I decided to do a solo. I'm still sitting here trying to figure out what to do, but I ready up. Then I go, hold on a second, I just want to play solo. I know that'll go quicker, and Christian just texted me and said he was going to be on in five minutes, so I was like, sounds good. I'll, uh, die quicker if I do a solo. That team deathmatch mode too has a disadvantage of, oh well, the advantage and disadvantage of there's almost no reason to have healing items because you respawn with everything that's not consumed. So, and you respawn with 100 health, so you're basically going in, into every fight with 100 health and dying or winning. And if you win, you're not concerned about going out of the fight with 100 health, and they're not going to drop any healing items, so there's no reason to keep a slot open for healing items. The shield's pretty much it. decided to go shifty. Um, Jeremy and one of the dudes he plays with, Scrub, taught me this new, they call it a rotation, but it's basically a path around the map where they start in shifty and they move over to the corrupted area, over to Pleasant Park. I think it's Pleasant Park. Whatever that neighborhood is over there that I just flashed on the screen for a second. 
and then they move around north and then figure out where the circle is from there. Um, and I like it a lot. We've been doing it a few times and it's pretty effective. So I decided to do it in solos. See if it works the same when you're not in the team. I got the long range chainsaw. I love it. Maybe my favorite gun. Although I don't even realize why at this point because it's higher damage for sure than a regular AR, even a SCAR, but they're both almost equally um, as accurate. But I just feel I'm more accurate with the heavy AR. It's got to be completely in my mind. Maybe it's just the sound it makes when you pull the trigger. Oh, I found my my high fire rate weapon to carry with my shotgun. Now I'm just looking for minis. There's a half pot. I might end up drinking this. I'm not sure. Nope. Still hoping for minis. Obviously I don't remember all the details from this game because it was yesterday, but... I still don't know shifty shafts too well, so I get a little bit lost down here in the dark cave. Everything looks a bit samey. Three half pots. If I find a fourth one, I'm an idiot to not to drink it kind of being dense doing it, not drinking it now. Ooh, purple heavy. There is an orange heavy, but I've only seen it like two or three times. Purple's where it's at. Okay, I remember now. I ate mushrooms. I guess I'm still kind of hoping for a mini because I'm drinking the, or eating the mushrooms before I eat the half pot. The only reason to do that is if I get it to 25 and then drink it a mini. Can I find one more somewhere? I guess not. So now do I drink a half pot? Or am I going to hold out? Oh. Just heard somebody over in Shifty. Or in that direction at least. Oh, mini's nice. I got lucky. Drink that mini for five shield. Oh! Where is he? He's right by here. Can you hear my footsteps? He might have. Look at me, he's like, somebody's been here. I'd hope you heard of me. Oh man, caught him totally off guard. That's beautiful. Reload check. Get some more mats. Uh, obviously I didn't check this area too well because... I just left a big gold gun right there. I'm not going to use this gun, but I don't want anybody else to use it. So I'm putting it in a spot that hopefully if somebody does walk into that room, they won't see it. They'll just open the door and go, oh, somebody's been here, and leave. 
At least that was my thought process there. Just because I don't want somebody using that against me. Like I said, sniper versus sniper, I'm weak. But anything I can do to weaken the other dude in a sniper versus sniper bat battle will be good for me. I see some ARM over here. Oh, footsteps. Try and not make footstep sounds. There he is. Wonder if he heard me because he's suddenly creeping around too. Sounds like he went downstairs. Oh, there he is. Man, I'm a stalker here. Works like a charm. Oh, he had a lot of materials. Thank you, buddy. A half pot. Oh, wait, I got those minis. Playing on the ground over here. Jeez, is that storm going to get me? I'm definitely inside the circle here. I would have been fine over there too. Reload check, I'm all good. Time to start moving towards the circle. a chest on top of that bridge so at this point I'm thinking what is that blue glow I've not seen that before it's right by that street lamp around the corner it's a time trial kind of bummed out I was thinking maybe it was a cool item See if there's any chests around here. I would have heard that one when I walked over it. At least that's what I concluded. Why well, didn't go back? Whoa, I don't know what that sound was. This guy's good at building. I might be toast. Dude's building a mini Eiffel Tower on top of me. Where is this guy? Boom! Took a second to die there, but he was done. And I got an upgrade for my shotgun, my favorite. Now let's get that half pot I've been eyeballing this whole time. My writing's on the wall this time. I'm drinking these things, man. I'm not I'm not playing at this point. There's nine people left. It's time to get serious. So what's the next plan? I gotta get further into the circle. I 
I got auto pickup guns turned on lately, and the reason is because it helps in chest battles when, you know, somebody's opening a chest and you're right there, your dude automatically picks up whatever you're standing on top of. It's really useful, but a benefit that I didn't recognize, or didn't expect, is that it reminds me to keep my slots full all the time. Dude had plenty of building materials for me. I, at this point I recognize that I'm going to record this, so I start talking periodically. But, the benefit is it reminds me to keep my inventory slots full all the time, because I'll randomly pick up crap. Play it safe now that I'm doing pretty well. A oh, I'm kind of hybrid, safe, dangerous, and hit. Speaking low, trying not to get caught. <clears throat> Man, I wish I would stop interrupting myself. Kind of annoying. But anyway, I pick up crap just automatically, and then it reminds me, oh, swap that crap out with something. Rather than have an empty slot that I won't think to fill. I heard firing over here, so I'm trying to figure out what it is. He's mining some materials. Oh, where'd he go? He's coming this way. Oh, I didn't know I was over there. Oh, an upgrade for my AR. So, where's is he shooting at me? It kind of sounds like he is. But maybe I'm just in the crossfire, I'm not sure. But th those bullets were whizzing right past me. So where is this guy? I don't see him up there. But I don't want to risk it. If he sees me, I do not want to be anywhere near him. Oh, you know, I bet he was shooting at those builds. He saw somebody just put those up and he was like, who's over there? But in any case, I go around this mountain to avoid him spotting me as I run towards him. Still don't see him though. Four people left. Check out this little shit shack, as Christian likes to call it. More ammo for my AR, but or my SMG, but I can't pick it up. Maxed out, 9.99 in the backpack. An upgrade for my shotgun, nice. That pump is dirty. I wonder if that's where that dude was when he was shooting at me. Maybe somebody spotted him, but I didn't see a shot or I mean a sniper over I there. I saw that. Oh, that guy's flying. Use the corrupted zone launcher to get up there. Uh, let's see if I can third party this. Better be quick. They're, they're fighting. And they're serious about it. AR when I know I'm better with the other one at a distance. At least I get the impression I am. So one of them killed the other to see there's three people left. So I'm like, I gotta push. This guy's trying to heal up right now and I need to make sure that doesn't happen. And he's like, this guy's trying to push me and he needs to make sure that doesn't happen. Boom. Another upgrade for my shotgun. There's an upgrade for my Down SMG, to mean one other. upgrade for my... Oh, 
Oh yeah, and it's 1v1. I got the circle and the high ground. This is so beautiful. Where are you at, homie? Never, never mind on that scar. We'll just go with the heavy and the rocket launcher. I got a turret too. Is that 11 turrets? I've got 11 turrets. Those things are OP. I really probably should have just thrown it down and blasted it away. That vehicle's annoying, but apparently I didn't care. Dude's nervous, obviously. I mean, reasonably. Why wouldn't he be? Oh! It shot at me. It sounded like it was coming from 75. Oh, nope, definitely 120. Oh, there he is. I can barely see him down there. Let's see if we can catch him peeking. He's trying to snipe me. Screw this. Like, oh crap. 34. This tree is too much of an advantage for him. Oh man, dude's. It was just 150 after a 34. Dude's at like 20 health. Boom! Second solo victory ever, baby!